Hey, how are, how's it going? I got Mr. Reed coming at you again, and we've got some more questions. All right, and we've got Miss Swanson with us, and we've got Nurse Megan with us also. So hopefully we can answer some of these questions that you may have, all right? So question number one, can my other children still attend school while my student's class is being required to do remote virtual learning? That's a great question, Mr. Reed. Thank you very much. Uh, absolutely. If your child hasn't been informed by uh, Appanoose County Public Health or, or hasn't been called by Nurse Megan, um, the, the rest of the family is not in quarantine or can actually go to school. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, so question number two. This is a two-part question. So our seventh grade students, are they in quarantine? And then the second part to that, can they attend extracurricular activities outside of school? All right, two questions come with two answers. Thank you, Mr. Reed. So um, no, your child is not technically on quarantine just simply by being um, a part of the seventh grade class and being sent home. But if you have been notified, as Ms. Swanson said, by public health or um, heard from the school um, and been identified as a direct close contact of someone that we know is positive within the building, um, then no, you're not in quarantine. But what we are asking is that you act responsibly outside of the school when you're at home for the next 14 days. So yes, you could still attend extracurriculars. We just want you to do so safely and responsibly. So make sure you're following the four W's, um, wearing a mask, watching your distance, washing your hands, and watching for symptoms. And um, as long as you feel well and you do the appropriate mitigation strategies that, that you probably dream about at night, then you're good to go. At any time, if you don't feel well, they'll listen to your body, um, make sure you let an adult know, hey, I don't feel right, and make sure that's looked into and not brushed aside. That's all that we're asking as far as, um, you know, having you home goes, so. That's great. That's perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Number three, question three. How will I know if my child has been directly exposed to COVID-19 within the school? That is me. Great question. Well, you will have been notified by Nurse Megan and or through contract contact tracing with the Iowa Public Department of Health. And so uh, you will have been notified if you are a direct contact. We are obviously um, being very careful because of some of the things that we've seen. And I know there's going to be um, another question about that. So thank you, Mr. Reed. Thank you. And question masks are required and are supposed to slow the spread of COVID-19, then how did we end up in this situation? All right, another great question. Um, so basically, I'm sure many of you are aware that the CDC um, never came forward with this, this type of a statement, and this was adopted by the Iowa Department of Public Health, and we work very closely with the Public Health Department, and we do follow all their guidance. So with that, um, in an attempt to try to keep as many students in school as possible, um, it was determined that as long as, you know, both parties had masks on, um, if there was a positive, um, despite time and distance, that, um, that those individuals could remain, you know, in school and didn't have to quarantine. However, um, this was to slow the spread, not 100% guarantee that it would not occur. So with that, um, we have seen the spread within our, within our school, um, whereas previously it was community transmission that we were seeing. Um, so that is how we got ourselves into this situation. Unintentionally, we've, we've been so well for so long. So um, unfortunately, this is a, a hand that we've been dealt. So this is how we have decided to move forward in dealing with it. Okay. And so uh, fifth question, I know there have been positive, te positive cases reported in the past. So why is this situation any different? 
Okay, so this answer is um, basically referring to what I just kind of alluded to with um, positive cases in the past, we have not had to shut down an entire section or, you know, lately we haven't had to do that. So what is different about this situation is the fact that based upon the evidence that we have in front of us, um, all the details about um, positives, pending tests, um, those who are currently homesick, um, who have gone homesick from school, just everything combined um, painted a pretty clear picture that it's highly probable that some transmission um, has and will occur within the school or would have continued to occur had we not stepped in and made the decision that was made. So um, again, with respect for student and family privacy, we obviously cannot go into details about that, but just know that these decisions are not taken lightly in any way, shape or form. Um, and we're constantly evaluating the situation and it is constantly changing. So sometimes things don't work out um, as we'd hoped and um, you know, we have to go an alternate route with, with how we are handling things. Um, just want to make sure I don't forget anything as we finish this up. Um, again, we did collaborate with the Avenues County Public Health Department with, in this decision, um, and they absolutely stood behind the, um, the temporary remote uh, learning for the seventh grade. And the reason that it was seventh grade only, um, all of our data was pointing towards it being prominent in the seventh grade. Um, the other two grade levels seem to be just just fine as is. And um, as I said, we're constantly evaluating their situations. And if something comes up, then we would we would step in. But in this particular case, um, we could not just shut down a certain pod um, because it was pretty evident that um, the entire grade level uh, was being affected in some way. So that is the answer to that question. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, remember, Howard. Uh, we want to make sure that we're being responsible, being respectful, making healthy decisions. And if you have more questions, please do not hesitate to let us know. Thank you.